Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we are going to make a simple LiPo battery charger using TP4056 module with battery protection. This project contains the detailed information about circuit diagram and PCB of LiPo charger. Here, we will make our own PCB for LiPo battery charger and also test its working. So, let us go through the video in detail. I think we all are familiar with rechargeable batteries and their charger circuits. Most of the rechargeable battery has common problem of overcharging and overdischarging. We need a smart charging solution that protects our battery from overcharging and damage caused by overdischarging. This lithium battery charger circuit that we are going to design automatically cut off the charging process when the full charge limit of battery is reached that is 4.2 volt. This circuit also protects our battery from over-discharging by automatically cutting the output power when the battery voltage falls below 2.4 volt. Before going through the circuit diagram of this project, let us have a basis understanding of TP4056 chip. The TP4056 is a complete chip for designing a constant current constant voltage linear charger for single cell lithium ion batteries. The features of this chip are Programmable charge current up to 1000 mA, constant current constant voltage, preset 4.2 volt charge voltage, with 1.5% accuracy, automatic recharge. If you want more detailed information about it, you can go through my website where I have included all the pin description in detail. The link of my website is provided in the description below. Now, it's time to see the circuit diagram of our project. To have a clear concept, I have divided the complete circuit diagram into different parts. First of all we will see the circuit diagram of LiPo charger without protection unit. Simply this circuit can be used to charge your LiPo battery. But this charger circuit cannot provide any protection to your LiPo battery. So, we will understand this simple circuit first. And secondly we will add the protection part in the same circuit. Starting with the power pin, pin 4 is positive input supply voltage. We can provide voltage from 4 volt to 8 volt in this pin. In this project, we are providing 5 volt from any external source to this pin. For bypassing unwanted voltage spikes and noise, a capacitor is also connected from VCC to ground. However, the large value of capacitor need to decouple with a series resistor shown as resistor R3 in the circuit diagram of 0.2 ohms to 0.5 ohms, which reduces the ripple voltage. Pin 3 of this IC is connected to ground, which mean to say this pin has been directly connected to the supply voltage to enable the IC negative terminal of battery is connected to this point as a common ground. Pin 8 of TP4056 is chip enable pin. A high input to this pin enables the chip, and low input disables this chip. In our case, we have directly connected this pin to input power supply, so our chip is enabled. Now coming down to programming pin. Pin 2 is very important pin of TP4056, form where we can set the charging current. The charging current plays an important role in charging a battery and it must be programmed according to the battery used. The main advantage of using this TP4056 chip is we can program the charging current by selecting the proper resistor as per our requirements. For selecting the proper value of resistor we have used potentiometer of 10k in this project. We can easily tune the potentiometer as per our required current. The programming resistor with corresponding current value shown in the table below dot. Now coming to charge indication pins. The charge pin or pin 7 of TP4056 is used to indicate the charging process of the battery. This pin goes to the low state. While the battery is charging otherwise it remains in high impedance state. A red LED is connected with a resistance, R2, in series to this pin for the visual indication of the charging process. The STDBY pin or pin 6 is used to indicate the full charge of the battery. This pin goes to the low state while the battery is fully charged. 
otherwise it remains in high impedance. The resistor R1 and R2 is used to limit the flow of current to the LED. The LED indication is shown in the figure above. And finally we will see the output pin. The BAT pin or pin 5 is connected to the positive terminal of battery. This BAT pin provides the regulated 4.2V and charging current to the battery. In this circuit, a capacitor is connected in parallel with the BAT pin which connects to the ground for bypassing unwanted voltage spikes and noise. Now, let us see the working principle and working modes of this chip. This chip TP4056 operates in four different modes. We can observe these mode from the above graph. The first mode is trickle mode. When the battery voltage is less than 2.8 volt, then the IC will enter in trickle charge mode to bring the voltage of the battery in safe mode. In this mode, the charging current reduces to 13% of the full-scale current, so the battery can be charged only by 130 milliampere of current. When the battery voltage reaches above trickle voltage, the IC enters in constant current mode. Our second mode is constant current mode. The current flowing out of the prog pin will be constant. This current is used to charge the battery and is called charging current. In this experiment, this charging current is 1 ampere, as set by the programmable resistor at pin 2, and the battery will be charged through this constant current of 1 ampere, until the terminal voltage of the battery will reach its maximum rated voltage, that is 4.2 volt. And another mode is constant voltage mode. When the battery voltage has reached peak value of 4.2 volt, then the battery voltage tries to exceed the 4.2 volt. At that time, the IC will not allow more current to flow through the battery. The current in this mode will slowly start dropping down by maintaining a constant voltage of 4.2 volts at the battery. And our fourth mode is standby mode. The IC automatically stops the charging when the charge current drops to 1 by 10 of the charging current after the maximum voltage, 4.2 volt of the battery is reached. In this mode, the IC will draw maximum 100 microampere current as per the datasheet. And our final mode is shutdown mode. When the RPROG pin is not connected and the input voltage is less than battery voltage, then the IC will be in shutdown mode. We have completed making simple LiPo charger using TP4056 IC. Now, let us add a protection part in our previous circuit diagram. The above circuit diagram is the circuit diagram of LiPo charger with protection unit. The LiPo charger circuit using TP4056 with protection unit contains the following things as a complete module. We have included two extra IC in this module. FS8205A dual MOSFET is used as battery disconnect switch, and DW01A is for lithium battery protection. This integrated module that uses TP4056 Li Ion Charge Controller IC. FS8205A dual MOSFET and a separate DW01A Li Ion Battery Protection provides the following features. The first feature is over discharge protection. If the battery voltages drops below the healthy minimum voltage of the battery that is 2.4 volt, the module automatically cut output power from the battery until the battery voltage has been recharged above 3 volt, the over discharge release voltage. Although the module cuts output power from the battery during an over discharge situation, it still allows charging of the battery to occur through the parasitic diode of the discharge control MOSFET. Our second feature is overcharge protection. This module protects your battery by overcharging by not allowing the charging current to flow across the battery when the maximum charging voltage, 4.2 volt, is reached. And the final feature is the module will cut the output from the battery. If the discharge rate exceeds 3 ampere, or if a short circuit condition occurs, 